Oh man, they're putting in caskets. That's so sad. Rest in peace, honestly. I assume this takes place in the 1940s. I mean, probably at this point. Beautiful details, I gotta admit. I mean... Yes, nothing. Nothing wrong with a couple shots of beer. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Oh, Looks snap. Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. He's gonna flirt with her. I gotta see this. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Okay, so well, the other guy is flirting What's with the girl. What's in store for me, Pop? You have these questions? Uh, ooh, okay, so this is similar to Until Dawn. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? Yeah, I wanna know about my boy. How's my boy doing? How's my little nene? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna choose the bamboo. Something's telling me to choose the bamboo. <laughs> Okay, so definitely similar um, controls to it, Until Dawn. It looks like a fish. Damn. Death and doom? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Alright, so this guy's name is Joe. He's altruistic, insecure, selfish, and reckless. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So, let's go back now. Hey, bud. Let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. The fact that this costs a quarter is amazing. But then again, a I'll quarter in the 1940s, I mean. Oh shit. So use R to aim and R2 to punch. <laughs> Damn, okay. Right here. Okay, so it's definitely tax testing my reflexes, so. Oh. Damn. Oh shit, I almost got knocked out. This is really heavy stuff. I could fight, what you mean, bro? Like, I'm trying here. Maybe she's just teasing me at this point. I'm doing pretty good, like... Oh, shit. Yo, I really gotta step up my reflexes here. Like, it's getting a little bit quicker. <laughs> yeah, looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know it? Damn, she said, why am I wasting time on this idiot, bro? You don't want to get stranded. That's Next, funny as hell. We really need to get back. Wow, so that's the ship. Okay. Two. Cargo hold two. Wow. 
Wait a minute, that's a skull in the box. What does that even mean? Is there some biohazards that they're carrying? Or, like, is that poison of any kind? What's good? Okay, they managed to get back in the ship hey on time. That's nice. Hey, where's my... Where's my 50 cents? 50 cents? What 50 cents? Come on, man! Hey, buzz off, buddy. Nobody pushes me around! Wow, he's getting a punch for what? Damn, they're pissed. I mean, they were about to fight, so... I mean... It's a pretty extreme way to... Make sure they stop fighting. Oh, no! The ship! It's in the middle of the storm! So cliche, come on, man. What's next? Oh! Oh shit, never mind. I'm not gonna say anything. Yo, okay. Ew, what is that? Poison gas. Oh shit. Is that the yellow mustard? I bet it really is. Kinda looks like it. Oh no, don't tell me. Okay, here's my prediction. You ready? Zombies. Zombies because of that yellow mustard. What? Why would you increase that? Alright, so it's 1.36 a.m., June 22nd. I'm playing as Joe again. And that's my son. I'm assuming that's my son. Two pops, come back soon. Bendito. That's Joe's son. Okay. Alright, so I'm in medical pay. And... What's in here? What the hell? What the hell is going on? I just woke up and already there's a dead body. Oh my god. A key? Okay. That's cool. Wee. No, nah, but seriously though, there's a dead body here. Like, what's going on? He got busted too. I think he's dead. That's the sad part. Alright, so I guess there's nothing else for me to explore, so time for me to skedaddle. Let's go, Joe. Wait, why was this door locked from the inside? Who are we trying to hide from? Or protect ourselves from. I don't know. I'm not really feeling this. Like, this is... This is starting to not be a good idea at all. Like, dude, that doctor... Locked himself in. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? Heard aircraft. And gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. You and me both. I am so glad we're on the same... 
the same mindset here, like... I haven't seen anyone else besides my- Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Press X in time with the heartbeat? Come on! I can't! I can't do this. Oh lord, okay, okay, okay. Um, X, X... X, X... Oh my god, if I don't do this, I'm gonna get shot. Please. I'm not trying to get shot. I know. Oh, he is trigger happy. He is trigger ready. I am not going to get shot. Please, please make sure I'm doing this correctly. Please. Oh my god. That's it. That's it. I did it. That was so intense, man. Damn. This guy is losing its, his mind. What the hell is going on? Bro, I'm not really feeling this. What was that? I saw a little kid. Why would a little kid be in a ship? Unless, of course, that's either my hallucination or we're dealing with a ghost. Hey, Charlie, help! Pl press X repeatedly to force the door open. <laughs> Woo! Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and that song. Okay, so that's another dead body. What the hell? He got shot. Oh no, he got shot. This sucks, man. Honestly, something really sinister is happening in this ship. And we don't- got Look, death. another dead body! Who's the lucky winner? Bro, this is not- this is horrible. Oh, damn it, Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Wait, wait. Look at him. His fingers, the way his body is like... I don't think he died naturally. Oh, man. This is not good at all. Hold L1 to walk faster? Okay. There's a reason why this game is telling me to walk faster. So, uh, is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Dread looks like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings. <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Yo! Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh... No? You feeling alright? I'm not feeling anything right now. I'm just perplexed as to what's going on. Like, look at- look at this! More dead Chuck, bodies, bro! Over here. Look at their faces! Oh! Oh, shit! Either they get killed, or someone is scaring them to death. Like, look how distorted their faces are. It has to be something to do with the gas. Hey. 
Come here. Now, I realized something. Oh! oh God, no. no, that's his friend! His friend was right behind him! What the hell? How the hell did he die? <laughs> Who's that? Oh my god, look at his face. Nah, bro. The bullets went right through the kid. Whoa! Yo, Joe! Joe! Oh my god, he's having a heart attack. Wow. So that explains hey, how hey. everyone's dying. Is anyone there? Hello, can anyone out there hear me? Nope. Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! What the hell is that? Oh shit! Oh shit, he's he's dead. He's done for. Honey, I feel so bad for you. Oh, shit. This is like ghost ship. Wow, it's like those guys, those soldiers, they didn't have a chance. Like, something mysterious happened in that ship. And whatever was in there killed everyone. Okay, I'm into the music. This is cool. This is nice. Question is... Would I need to redo this just so I won't get a copy claim? Hopefully not. If I do, I'll just redo the episode without the music. But yeah, this is a very good introduction to this scary game that I decided to pick for Season 7. For the next couple of months, I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more story games. And I'm taking a pause on multiplayer games because for the past couple of seasons, I've been doing nothing but multiplayer games anyways, so... I feel like it would be a nice change of pace just to go back to playing story games, honestly. And I feel like with Season 7 being... That one season where I'm just going to be playing a lot of scary games, it'll be a lot more fitting for me to just play a few little tales and whatnot, you know? I do love the graphics. I mean, the details are amazing here. I almost forgot that I was playing a game, like... Hello. Hi. And welcome to my repository. Okay. I love your fest. I love your tie. Yeah, this is... I think this is the same 
Yeah, this is the same developer who made Until Dawn. Love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. Damn. No pressure. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? No, of course not. No one wants that. As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Okay, thanks for that. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Okay, well... I'll see you soon. Holy shit, the picture moves? Wow, the pictures move, okay. Damn, the water looks nice here. It's like I can almost smell the sand and the shore. And I can almost feel the sun hitting my skin, like... All right, Brad, so you're witty, you're innocent, and you're Alex's brother. Okay. Duke of Milan. Alex, motivated, insecure. What's up with these guys, bro? Don't be insecure, bro. Come on. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down. The water. Diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Uh, I'll say I had to work. I wanted to. I just didn't, I didn't have time, you know? I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, give him some slack, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So, okay. So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Are you serious? What the hell? I'm gonna say this one. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? Okay, Captain right, Dick. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. I mean... Yeah, okay. I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Alright, let me see here. So, Brad here. He's witty, truthful, eager, envious. Wait, what are you jealous about, bro? Huh, that's weird. Hey! 
So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? It's just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but... Julia. Kind of a big life choice, you know? What, you want to ask her... I don't know what's the right thing to do. To marry you or something? sure you're ready give it some thought consider all the permutations proposal i knew it brad told alex to think things through yeah because honestly love is not enough sometimes you need to go through every single factor or possibility make sure that not only are you good but also to make sure if julia's good as well so hey hey Okay, excited, reckless, <gasps> Julia, and then Conrad, foolhardy, relaxed. Okay. Hey! Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a Finally. Cowboy. Felt like being a third wheel already. Um, this one, this one. Yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so he's true, full, relaxed. Okay, nice. <laughs> there you go. Right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. Uh, it's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? No. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, Water Virgin? Pop my cherry. Together. Pop my cher Who the hell talks like this? Water Virgin? Popping my water cherry? <laughs> the dialogue here is a little bit weird for Where's me. Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Who's that? Fliss? Impatient, courageous. And she's the captain. Okay. I love her tattoo. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but... Uh... Look at him checking her out. So He's like, on Ooh. Board and ready to go? Ooh la la. Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Oh. oh, yes, yes. You swept him off his feet, literally. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.